Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Anna. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here before, hey sis. In today's video, I want to talk about my journey of finding a therapist, right? So how I actually found my therapist and some tips that I wanted to share uh, maybe for you guys in your journey and how to find a therapist. And I really, really, really hope that you find this video extremely helpful because I've lived it. I know what it feels like to encounter a few good ones, a few bad ones, and you're just really Really wanting a therapist so if you're interested in this topic just keep on watching before I actually get into the topic of this video I want to just shout out a meet-and-greet that I'm doing this Thursday June 13th in New Jersey finally Roselle Park New Jersey if you are in the New York area North Jersey area or even the Central Jersey area um, come on through uh, I want to meet you I want to hug on you I want to chat with you I also want you to shop with me because it is at a very cute boutique thrift store that I'm having it or that I'm hosting it at and I cannot wait it's from 7 to 9 p.m. and yeah if you are coming let me know I cannot wait to meet you take selfies and just hang out all right so now let's get into the topic of this video the way that I essentially found my therapist was through a referral like Honestly, long story short, right? Um, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine and this is why I love uh, cultivating just raw, honest conversation um, in trusted spaces, right? Because you can't really share um, really like just intimate things with just anybody, right? But I think that is important when you, when you create spaces for community and when you create these spaces of vulnerability, you're able to talk about like, hey, like I've been looking for a therapist, like, hey sis, like, if you know anybody that deals with XYZ, can you refer or can you recommend or can you send me some sort of Google search or whatever it is? Um, anybody that you know that can possibly help this specific area can you let your girl know and so I had this conversation with a friend of mine she referred me to her and um, it was really cool because uh, this therapist uh, was Christian and to, to be honest with you that wasn't a qualifier or disqualifier but then after being with her in a few sessions I realized like how important sharing the same values with my therapist was to me and I didn't even know that that was a thing um, but but I do feel strongly about that not really being a, a qualifier or disqualifier because I do think that God did place people on this earth that are specifically created to aid us um, and to help us in that capacity and so she just happened to be a Christian woman and I was so so excited about that part because uh, we shared the same values we prayed before each session we prayed after each session she was able to um, biblically reference certain things that I had really raw questions about um, especially with grieving especially with relationships um, with intimacy there was a lot of things that we went through and walked through and she held my hand through and was able to implement a lot of just things that she had learned both professionally as a therapist and biblically as a Christian woman and we were able to kind of hand in hand walk through that so one of the first things that I would recommend you do when you're trying to find a therapist and really essentially how I found mine uh, was it was to um, or is to have conversation with friends with leaders maybe even um, because although speaking with leaders and counselors are it's, it's an amazing experience and it's an honor and a privilege to even have that relationship with your leaders but I do think that professionals are made to uh, be able to walk you through just certain systematic methods and ways in different occasions and different background situations experiences etc and so I think that although uh, praying and and uh, speaking with your leaders is really important because they can really give you some sound wisdom, some sound advice. I do think that for me and the things that I have been through, just I needed that extra just professional input into my life. And so uh, the first thing that I would recommend you guys do is have conversation with the people around you, with community, um, and see where they can kind of point you to. The second thing is do Google search in your area, something that's affordable, 
people something that works within your realm of of you know what works with what you're going through um and and this person being specifically qualified to even uh just walk with you through these things that's very important because if you are uh, really wanting to walk through some childhood trauma you're not gonna go to somebody who deals specifically with marriage with married couples so it's like that type of thing just research I remember um, this was not my first therapist I've been through about three I would say this is the third one or the fourth one. I can't even count. I lost count after two because I really was about to give up. And then I found my uh, my therapist and I was like, yes, amen, this is gonna work. And so I think that one of the things that um, that you should do is do your research and even if you have a top five or a top three then you can kind of narrow down and really space out these appointments and really figure out who you want to go to who would be the best fit for you to walk through this situation and I realize that sometimes we're in such desperate situations that we're like no I need one now like I, you don't understand like I need one right now and it's in that those cases where speaking with your leaders speaking with your community speaking with friends who can recommend a good therapist to you would help now I did find this um, app that I almost used but I ended up not using called Talkspace that's also an app that I've heard good reviews I don't know anyone personally that have has used it but um, I do know that they work with different price points they do work with different health insurances and that's another thing see what your health insurance covers for you to uh, for you for who to see and for you to go to because a lot of people just think about like physicians and taking care of your body or dentists to take care of your teeth and like all these great things but I think it's also important to look at the benefits when it comes to your mental health when it comes to things that you just really need the help and seeing what coverage you have is like really really important and so going back to my experience with different therapists um, I'm so glad that I did not give up you know and if you find yourself in that position where you're like I'm just gonna give up on this therapy thing or therapist thing because I have not found the one I've not found uh, the one that I'm comfortable with um, I do know that one of the best parts of my relationship with my therapist is that I am comfortable with her and it's so cool because she's kind of like tough love type of thing and I need that we've established that culture in our sessions where she could just be like pat me on my back and be like all right all right boo you can go ahead and walk walk now you know you can go ahead and grab your things put your head up and walk because who do we believe in we believe in God and so uh, that that's really important for me personally and I know that that might not work for other people my therapist might just scare you and it might not work for you and that's okay because she works for me I just love the fact that God really allowed me to come across her via a conversation that I had with a friend and so I want to encourage you if you find yourself in this position where you're trying to find like I mean yeah everybody's talking about this mental health and everybody's talking about how you know you should find a therapist and all this stuff but I can't find one listen one open your mouth to your leaders to your community to your parents to your friends whoever you feel comfortable with talking about um, who you just never know who could be resourceful to you to be able to find this to do a Google search do a Google search and figure out who is in your area, how much they are, if it fits in your budget. And three, look at your health insurance and reassess what are some things you might need to add on in terms of your mental health because so many of us focus on the physical health, focus on our dental hygiene and like all this stuff, which is absolutely needed. But I think that um, we live in such a in such a crazy world it's, it's very different now and um, we just need um, certain things I believe in prayer I believe in um, obviously Jesus healing it all and Jesus doing it all but I also have said plenty 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 of times on my channel that having a therapist was really essential to just my healing journey 
and my grieving process on many levels. There's so many different scenarios that we need just someone to kind of like walk us through just certain life changes and I'm just so thankful for this profession because it has changed my life. My experience with therapy has completely changed my outlook on mental health and how much I am how much more I invest in it so once again i want to encourage you to do your research to go for it don't be afraid to explore the waters when it comes to therapy if you guys have any questions uh just place them below in terms of this topic or any other topic um having to do with mental health i'm definitely certainly not a professional but you never know who else is in the comments you might come across someone who uh, is a professional in in this category who can help you out as well so Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so that when I post, you guys get an email in your inbox so that you can be the first to watch the video. Also, mark your calendars for June 13th if you're in New Jersey or New York or maybe even Connecticut if you're close enough. Come by, come through. I wanna hang out with you. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.